Stephen Grossi here, 17 rebounds tonight. Stephen, only three points, but you dominated the glass. You know, what did it take from an effort from you to, to grab 17 rebounds and really help your team out? Uh, well, the last couple games, I've been doing pretty good on the boards, and uh, they stuck to me all night. Just had to keep fighting, uh, help with tie in there. They gotta, someone's got to box one of us out, so tonight I got a little bit more, and uh, you know, we just kept on battling. That's all that matters. Now what fueled your guys' run in the second half there, where you really put them away, and the last 10 minutes, it was pretty much over. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was an ugly game. It wasn't pretty. We weren't making shots. Uh, we had to fight for everything. We just kept grinding out. We stayed together, and uh, we came out the win with the win. We knew it was going to be tough, and uh, they're a good team, and uh, we'll see them again later. You know, every G-Stack game is important. This one, both you guys were tied in second place. Do you guys have any extra focus or just the usual focus to come out and get a win tonight? I mean, you got to take every game, you know, one by one, and uh, you got to come out and get it done at home. It's nice playing at home, and uh, just uh, use that fuel. All right, homecoming win tonight. Congratulations. Great game, and uh, good luck at William Jessup on Tuesday. Right. Assistant coach Brett Lowers, the Eagles pick up a big home win tonight against Westmont. Coach, you guys trailed a little bit in the first half, had a tough stretch there. What did you guys use to, to come back in the first half and actually take the lead into halftime? Well, we talked all week about uh, handling adversity, staying together, and getting to the next play, and that's exactly what we did. They came out hot, uh, got us on a couple back cuts, a couple open threes that they made, um, and we stayed together and, and continued to compete. You know, and then the second half, it was close early, but you guys put a real run on them and really put it away with about eight or nine minutes left in the game. You know, what was what was it that fueled that run for you guys? Well, the same thing uh, that helped us in the first half. We stayed together, we handled adversity, um, and everybody, it, it seemed like every single person made a big play for us. Um, when you have a guy like uh, Steven Grossi, who's one of your best players, who only scores five points and doesn't care, all he cares about is winning, um, it, it's, it's, we're, we're hard to beat when that happens. He cared about his 17 rebounds tonight. He had a great performance. He did. You know, a game like this where you guys are jockeying for first, second place in the GSAC, how do you use this momentum to finish out your season and get where you guys want to get? Well, we don't talk We don't talk about places or records or anything like that. All we're going to talk about this week is William Jessup and how we can, uh, how we can compete um, and practice every day and get better and, and, and get our team better and stay close together um, for that game. It's going to be a tough road uh, game up there. I think it's their homecoming. Um, they're a tough team, especially at their place. And like I said, we, we stay focused on the next team that we play and we stay focused on ourselves getting better. All right, Coach, well, a crucial win tonight and homecoming. Congratulations, and I wish you guys good luck. Just one game next week at William Jessup. Thank you. See you up there.